I could not breathe, I could not swallow, and there was significant paralysis of all parts of my body. summit well. I cried like a baby when I got to the top. I cried for joy and relief. I was back in the game and we had done what some had thought not possible. These are truths which are embraced by my audiences and have benefited thousands. How about you, sir? 70! 70! An expedition which is very much a leap of faith. Expedition is a special thing. A group of people come together. An idea fills their waking minds and dreams. If you can find a dream like this in your life, it will be a great dream. Because it's a dream of greatness. Thing that kept me going was the fact that I wanted to regain my life. And that's the important thing to realize that if anything happens to you in which you've lost your life, you want, you'll give up anything to get it back. And here's where I count on my team, my good friends, my mother, my father. These are the people that kept me going through these darkest days. I've returned to the Himalayas, I met with mixed fortune, but I know my process is right and I know my will is there. So even if I fail to get on top of certain mountains, it doesn't matter. Because it's the will to confront these Everest. That's the important thing in life. about climbing Everest, how do you guys do it up there? Yeah. Up eye is a brutal affair. You dig a hole in the snow with your boot or your ice axe, you drop your windproof trousers, you squat down, and then you try and get it over with as quickly as possible. Because most of the time, it's this cold wind blowing up the mountain. Last thing you want is going to your expedition doctor showing you frostbite in a very unusual place. Splitting the difference is actually a very useful negotiation practice sometimes, but offering to split the difference is bad. Do you know why? Okay, I'm at 100 and you're at 90, right? So I'll come and say something, you know, well, Jenny, you know, I feel we're so close to agreement. You know, what can we do to make this happen? And then being prompted thus by these very carefully thought out words, you say, now here's one thing. She's now at 95. Where am I? I'm still at 100. Have I agreed to come down? 
Who's agreed to come out? She has. So at that stage, I can say, you know what? I think I really want, I think I really can only do this for 97 and a half. Then you're kind of stuck already because now you're... We're unique in our region. Our people have been on Mount Everest, sailed the seas, and flown the skies. We've walked the talk, and now we're helping others do the same in their professional and personal lives.